How you doing? Thursday night, Derby Jack here. Okay. This is the last segment of uh, Be Not Conformed to This World Will Be e Transformed by the Renewing of Your Mind. Now, I'm going to go a little tonight in your nature, our nature. A little story. <clears throat> This little boy, um, he's about, let's say, three years old. He's in his mom's kitchen. She's making dinner. She's up there and she's got, you know, she's cooking and she's just turned the eye on, getting ready to warm water. Uh, put some eggs or something in. Little boy is getting ready to, and mom turns around, don't touch that, you'll burn yourself. So she turns around and Lo and behold, what did she hear? Ah! He turned around and touched it. And she says, what I tell you? You burn yourself. And he's crying and crying. Well, what do you, why do you think he went against what his mother told him? She told him, you'll burn yourself. It's hot. He had to. It's his nature. See, Children are not born automatically to be goody little two-shits, okay? A child will not be born all of a sudden. I'm not saying there ain't no good kids that they're born, but in most cases, you know, they learn the game even as a baby. They want attention. They, 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 they want to get fed. They, they, they need to get changed. They, they cry. They, they, ah, you know? And, and so as it goes on, when they want something, the sin nature, the need, the greed is already beginning as a child growing up. So the, ba so the baby is growing up and, and now it wants to be needed by mommy. Not just the, 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 for suckling of the, of, of the titty for milk or, or just to be held and, and wants the attention. And, and then the parents, you know, they, it's a clinging thing. Okay, that still becomes the sin nature. Understand the nature and the way the world is. So now the baby is growing up, learning things. Watching Sesame Street, two, three years old. Supposedly learning good things. Well, not today. You don't want to let your kids watch Sesame Street today. The little boy might say, Mommy, I'm a girl. So, you know, you know. Um... But see, that's what I'm talking about. The world comes in. And what does the child do as it grows up? It's nature. Why do we have to teach them? Because if we let the child go on its own and learn outside without any type of understanding or discipline, then where do you think, do you think that child is going to up, end up on their own very rarely, but in a young to grow up and become an A student and, and, and go to an Ivory League. No, it's got to be trained. The, the child's got to be trained. Also, if it's a if you're a good person, if you're if you're a family and you're a godly family, of course, what do you want to do? You want to instill godliness in the child, right? That goes against the child's nature, though. Remember, your natural man, okay, the natural person doesn't want God. The only time it, it recognizes when your mind, when you finally open up and recognize what's going on around your world and how the world is, and, 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 that, and, that, and, and then you start recognizing one way or the other. It could be an emergency. It could be a life-death situation. Whatever the situation, your life-death situation, somebody else's, it doesn't matter. There could be a circumstance that may not even be a life-death situation that you finally wake up and you realize that there's a God. And now, now, now comes the pull. Now you know that you're gravitate that you've been gravitating to sin. You know that on your own, you, you you'll mess yourself up. You'll go back to the things that you were, that you were in. You know you recognize that, and so now as you're growing up, you know you you have got to always be aware of that grounding that you have in the world. That, that, that when, 
when anything that is shaking in the sin in this sinful area your body can react to it until you train yourself you train your mind through the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit and you allow the holy spirit to also protect you with a force field against demons plus you must have your armor on why do you think that god offers all this to you so you can fight against the principalities of darkness which is what the grounding of sin nature you are of sin nature the day you were born your blood is is defiled already i mean it's pure blood if it, not this type of stuff that they're you know shooting in people but you know i'm talking that your blood okay is 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 is, is, is rural blood okay it's it's down to earth blood okay meaning the the flesh the the clay okay what this is it's all part of the nature of the world and why I've already explained what the nature of the world is having on it's a pretty ugly nature isn't it it's a pretty ugly place it's a pretty pitiful dark ugh, hateful place sin nature and the nature that is in us see that's why i need god because without god i, I i'm going down it's it, i i'm i will i will gravitate back down to my nature my natural self if i didn't have god see that's the greatest he is the greatest entity in my life he is the greatest in my life because without him i could be dead of my own volition i could be dead by following the world gravitating to the things of the world many people have gravitated to the ways of the world and a lot of them are right right maybe a loved one of yours maybe a friend maybe a coworker because they trust it and believed in the world believed in its nature that the nature of man has got to be good they wouldn't do all this to harm everybody wouldn't they why do people start wars why why do people have to be perverts why is it so easy to become a pervert because of sin nature why is that sin one of the most prevalent sins right now being manifested in the world i'm going to say to you this again a lot of you may not know this one of the greatest sins right now being manifested in the world today by humanity by humanity and mainly by people in high places government people from do, from 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 lawyers to all kinds of stuff police you got military you got people in government you got doctors and scientists who are a bunch of perverts and scur, scur, uh, scumbags really perverts okay bestiality okay these are the these are the these are the attributes of sin nature okay the ugliness of sin nature the darkness of sin nature That's right, bestiality, child molestation, raping of little babies who were just born, the eating of a uh, 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 of the flesh of a child and drinking of its blood. These are the base things. These are the things of sin nature. These are the manifestations of people who are in power, more than likely people who are not in power. See, people who have all this money and prestige and 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 all the know-how and who are so possessed to the hill and have been moved uh, moved in the world to certain positions because of what they are capable of doing but being used of course but they their greed the greed of their lust all the lust that is that could be in anybody imagine allowing yourself to be so inundated in the in, in, in the darkness of the world to where what, all all these things you're manifesting all the attributes of filthiness 
of trash of everything that a man or a woman could actually ever want to do. It sickens me to think as I'm talking to you, as I'm speaking, imagery has got to come into your mind. Okay? Think of a man, you know, uh, 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 having, ha having sex w w with a puppy. They're out there. Like I said, or are or, or trying to have sex with a baby. They're out there. All the filthiness of anything. Humanity is debased, like I said last night. Now, you got to watch your nature because you have to fight your human nature. You must fight the lust in your members. You must fight the anger and, and, and the grossness of thoughts. Like, my biggest one in, in, in the past, when dealt with dealing with lust, you'd see certain females, okay? And, 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 and all of a sudden, your mind is already engaged. And what did Jesus say about that? Why do you think Jesus said that? You know, that if you, if you lust with your mind or in your eyes, that you've already... You've already committed to sin. Uh, I've dealt. I've dealt with that type of thinking in the past, as many others had. That's the basement, the basis, and you have got to fight those urges, fight those thoughts, and you have to. And the only way you can fight him, you can't fight him with within yourself. Remember what I said one time: try to mop a floor with a dirty mop and filthy water. Now, you may be smearing that mop back and forth, and you see those little lagged lines and stuff, and you try to wipe it down, but you're still using the same mop. Now, you moved all the dirt all over the place. The thing is all dried now, and it looks kind of clean, but all it is is, mud, it's all it is is dirty water just spread all over the floor. So what have you done? You haven't cleaned the floor, and that's the same thing with yourself. You can't clean yourself up with a dirty rag. You're a dirty rag in God's eyes. You can't clean yourself up. It doesn't matter how many times you take a shower. You can't clean yourself. You can't thoroughly, thoroughly wash yourself. You could thoroughly wash yourself on the outside, but you can't thoroughly wash yourself. That was what the blood of Christ was supposed to do. And in, in, in respect to that, when you are born again and you have the blood of Christ covering you, that it is saturated in you, and you're also working the Holy Spirit power, you can fight then the nature that is in your members. The gravitation of that nature, you can fight it. But don't try to fight it on your own. You can't fight it. You can't clean yourself up. How many alcoholics on their own tried to clean themselves up and went back to alcohol? How many drug addicts do it on their own and go back out and do it? How many people try to eat, how try to stop eating, but eventually go back to it? Why? Because their willpower only has so much power. And it's only natural power. And guess what's stronger of your nature? Your nature is full-blown sin nature. You can't fight what you are. Only way, there's only one way, you must have the Holy Spirit within you. You must allow the Holy Spirit to rise up in power against the supernatural darkness that's in your members and you're grounded to. Now, how many of you truly believe that about yourself? How, how many of you know how debased you are without God? How many of you ever do remember what kind of person you were before you became a Christian? Now, some, well, I didn't do anything bad. I didn't do, like I said last night, I was neutral. I didn't do anything bad. I never hurt nobody. No. Maybe you never hurt nobody. Guarantee you every once in a while you had the thought. See, the thing about sin nature, it can lay dormant, so to speak, but you're still in the nature of it. And if somebody were to back you up against the wall or, or excite you in a different manner, I guarantee you, your mind, you may not act out on it, but your mind 
your mind. See, that's why Jesus said that if you lust with a woman in your mind, that actually means that you've done it. You may have not have physically done it with her, but what it is, is that if your mind is able to concoct visions of these things, that means that you need to have a control and you can't have it within yourself. All the things that they do it's when they when they tell you to go and meditate and all this other stuff, believe it or not, oh, you open your mind up and just empty it out. Yeah, empty it out for other things to come in. And that's exactly what happens. All those things are a farce. There's only one supernatural power that can fight this supernatural power of and that's the supernatural power of God in Holy Spirit power form in you, the Christ, which produces the power from you and you manifest it in word, you manifest it in deed, but mainly you manifest it in thought. If your thoughts are fragmented, you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to rise with the Holy Spirit power to help you and guide you. Many of you are denying your Holy Spirit because you are being excited in your nature. Your nature is making you hold. It's holding you. The nature of the world is gravitating and the demons are pushing at you, pushing you down. And if you're on your own, and you're not listening to the Holy Spirit, guess what? All three, the mind, the members, and the nature of the ground, and also the demons, are going to push and pull you down. You talk about gravity, there's your gravity. So, in saying all this, this is it. I've given you all the ins and outs. For four straight days, I've given you all the ins and outs of not conforming to this world. If you do not get it by now, you will never get it. If you do not register what I've been telling you in your head and in your heart and in your mind, I mean in your mind, truly, and especially in your heart, if you have not figured this out and you are not willing to, to recognize it, that means that you are selfish. That means that you want to live in your self-pity or you want to live in your selfishness you want to live in your greed you want to live in your pride you want to live in the muck and mire of your of your pitiful life and you want to live here in this fallen world this vomit heap that 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 you call home this is what you want more than to rise above it, to be able to look down, sniff it as the odor comes up and see how much of an ugly world you live in. I don't want this place. Now, in saying what I said, if anybody has any questions, I mean, you're more than welcome to put them here. Find my, find my, uh, uh, any other questions, F find my um, Gmail, J Griswold, not capital J, but J Griswold 481 at gmail.com. There you go. And or maybe sometimes most of you need to get in your prayer life and go to God and talk to your Holy Spirit like I keep telling you. I've given you all the opportunities, God has given you all the tools, and God has given you the grace. The period of grace is almost up, so you better get your, you know, what together. Otherwise, you're gravitating down. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope that more people find this, and I hope, I just hope for your sake, that before Jesus Christ comes, or by the time Jesus Christ comes, that your spiritual bags are packed and you're ready to go. Derby Jack out. I love you all. See you all on the other side.